Okay, two more examples on factor. Now, this is very important. That's why I've started. Here, the first term is negative. We always like the first term when they're written in descending order. Remember, they should be written in descending order. We need it to be positive. So I'm going to take a negative out. Well, that changes the sign of everything. So the negative x squared becomes x squared. The positive x becomes negative x. And the positive 20 becomes negative 20. So I factor out the negative. I could put a 1 there, negative 1. But a negative's fine. Now I look at the last term, it's negative, so I know I'm going to have a positive and a negative. The middle term is negative, so I know the larger one will go with the negative. And so what two numbers multiplied together equal negative 20 and add up to negative 1? It's 4 and negative 5. And finally here, same thing, we need the first term to be positive. So I'm going to take out a 3 goes into each. And an x goes out to, into each, but I need this first term to be positive. So I'm going to take a negative 3x out, which is x squared plus 2x minus 24. Especially when you take a negative, it's good to multiply it back out. Negative 3x cubed, negative 6x squared, and positive 72x. Once again, the last term is negative, so I know I'm going to have a positive and a negative. The middle term is positive, so I know the larger number is going to go positive. So what two numbers multiplied together equal negative 24, but add up to 2, it's 6 and negative 4. You need this negative 3x out here. So if you multiplied this all out, you'd get back to the beginning. These are actually kind of fun. Good luck.